Chapter 17 Quality through Autonomy Autonomy is really agile. It's all about self-managing agile teams. However, be aware, there are two types of autonomy and we often use the word for both. The first thing is in-team autonomy. Being able and being autonomous as a team to decide when to do your meetings, uh, how to distribute the work. However, there's a second type of autonomy that's cross-team autonomy or inter-team autonomy, which means, means something like, can I as a team execute on my own or do I need other teams? Often in agile organizations you see that the inter-team autonomy is the problem. And then resilience comes by. Resilience means something like, are you resilient to failure of other teams? Are you able to deliver when other teams don't? Because if an agile team is 90% or 95% reliable, that's fine. But if you have a sequence of 10 teams and every time only one is not reliable, the whole sequence still becomes unpredictable and unreliable. So that's why resilience comes in place and making an agreement or ensuring that a team does deliver resiliently, which means something like if an other team doesn't deliver, you will still do. So you keep in mind that the dependencies to other teams may be there and bring you a problem and you have an escape scenario. Or one of the engineers I talked to said, you know, um, the art of forgiveness because the show must go on. The show must go on. Forgive the other team, but we will still deliver. Also, because of the short character of, uh, of delivery, the, the iterations, it makes sense to do all quality checks fully automated. Automated testing, automated integration, or whatever field you are in. Because you deliver early and often, you will need to check much more. So also the business case for quality check automation is much more positive because you do it more often, you do it continuously. Finally, you see that the autonomy really increases performance that the impact of having teams being autonomous, working agile, increases their performance. In the book we have two cases where we show the data, we give the information of how teams improve and how organizations improve by adopting autonomy through agile. This was chapter 17, The Essence.